This episode is made possible by listeners just like you. If you want to help fund future shows, please head over to x1bros.com forward slash support. Hello everyone, welcome to X1 Bros. Thank you so much for joining us. This is podcast number 56. We are your positive gaming and Xbox One community. 56? 56, I We're know. moving along. Yes, yes, we We're trucking. Are. We're almost to 100. <laughs> we sure yeah, are. Yeah, we're, we're there, almost there. <laughs> Past hump day. Uh, as always, I am joined by the bros, the X1 Bros. First and foremost... Never put all your eggs in one basket unless it's chocolate eggs, and it's his basket. <laughs> it's Mr. McSpicy, Mark Haywood. I mean, you're back to food. Yes. I like it, yes. Yeah. I love me some chocolate. And that's very, that's like current. Yeah. That's a very current one. That, that is. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. Easter, you know. Yeah, yeah I like that. We'll go with a little Easter yeah, theme I, here. I, I love chocolate. <laughs> Good. Second, he's learned so much from his mistakes, he's thinking of making a few more. It's Jordan the Man. Jordan Paskett. Hey, everybody. Hi. Good to be here. <laughs> Oh, he changed it up today. <laughs> Good to be here. Whoa, <laughs> he's growing up. Our little growing. guy is growing up. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, I majored in set design because I was good at making a scene, and you guys know it. <laughs> <laughs> I am X1. <laughs> it's true. Just uh, just watch our video on YouTube of our first, uh, uh, our, our day one of Xbox. Day one of Xbox. Yeah. It was yeah. quite a scene. And uh, a special guest today. Is he muted? No, no, he's, he's not. Unmuted. He's unmuted. I believe he is. Yes, but anyways, our <laughs> special guest today, his gamer tag rhymes with Labrador and Commodore. It's Travador. Oh. Hey, Xbox One community. How's it going? <laughs> yes. Travador, uh, Travador is joining us from Texas, where he hails from. Uh, how's, how's, how's life down there in Texas? Life is hot, <laughs> and I want out. <laughs> <laughs> right? No kidding. Awesome. Trabador is basically the producer of the show, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trabador yeah. is uh, <laughs> is our, our biggest contributor on Patreon. Uh, and so before we get started, we just want to say thank you so much, Trabador. Uh, you have helped us out so much in that respect. So so thank you. No, I need to thank you for building such a wonderful community. You know, everyone on the chat is always friendly. And that's really what I've been looking for for a long time. And you guys have started it up, so thank you on behalf of the community. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank yes. you. Before, before we get started here, let's get some updates. The IDARB tournament is still going on. Uh, McSpicy, what, where, where are we at? Oh, yes. Uh, we have our first uh, semifinal finalists. Oh. Semifinalists. Semifinalists, yes. Yes. Uh, Mike and Ike oh. is versus Franchise. Oh. That's the semifinals. Um, our loser bracket, that's in the winner's bracket. Okay. Um, we still, we are still waiting for the matchup between Toast and Shebrew. Oh. oh that'll be good. Dude. One. There's two tournaments where they are uh, playing each other in, in the later rounds here. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this. we're getting, we're getting close to the finale here. And um, Organic Avenger is hanging out waiting for the finals of Dirty Ruckus and T.O. Tech Guy. Oh. So, um, yeah. Franchise. I'm. I'm proud to say I lost the franchise. So at least my guy, the guy that I lost to, he's he's going <laughs> he's to he's up there. Yeah, he's he's undefeated so far. He's he's, he's him going and Mike. the distance. Bad, 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 Very nice. Bad, bad. So that's the IDARP tournament. Uh, it should finish up here in a, a couple of weeks. We'll announce the winner within within a week or two. I'm I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, announce the winner now that uh, I've updated all the <laughs> brackets. People can start playing again. <laughs> yeah. So I'm terrible. At the same time, we have the FIFA tournament going on right now. BLC Leo, he is the guy to beat. Uh, he has gone undefeated. Uh, I don't know where he's at in the. Let me see if if I could if I could figure out exactly. Where we're at, I think we are in the semifinals as well. <laughs> Already, yeah. all right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but BLC Leo, he uh, he's beaten everyone, uh, 
And then uh, exi- that's funny. Am I just bad at managing tournaments? No, no there was a lot more in the I. Oh, okay, Jeez. that's for sure. I, my, my confidence level just dropped significantly. So, uh, so yeah, but yeah. the FIFA yeah. tournament's <laughs> going going really well. Everybody's uh, been letting me know they've had a blast. There's been a couple close games down to the wire. Uh, a, one game, maybe two games, actually. I think went into overtime even. Oh, so that that was how the Madden tournament was as well. Uh, if you guys want to check out the tournaments, uh, head over to x one bros dot com. Up on the top, you can click tournaments, and you can see the standings, see where it goes. We will announce the winners. We send updates out on Facebook, on Twitter, so check us out there. Mortal Kombat, that is our next big tournament. That's the next big game, right? Mm -hmm. Jord the Man is putting together the Mortal Kombat tournament. Message him. Let him know. It starts... Oh, uh, I forget the date. Not next Saturday, right? Is that the date? Here we go. All we got to uh, do is go to the calendar. <laughs> X1bros.com forward slash calendar. You can see when all of our tournaments start. Mortal Kombat, the 25th. April 25th is when that begins. So email George the Man. Tweet him. Message him on Xbox One. The best way is probably messaging Xbox One. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Trumpador. And... When you do it, include your time zone because we're going to try and match you up. Time yes, that's a good I idea. Did, I didn't so. mention that. Yes, that was actually – I forget who who said – someone suggested to, that to me. I apologize. I forget who it was uh, in the FIFA tournament. There's so many people from different time zones, from different countries. It's hard to get together, so we're going to try and we're going to try and match up uh, via – Time zones. Uh, time zones. Yeah. So, so that at least it goes quicker during those early rounds. Yeah, that's a smart up, so. thing, and I was just random on mine. Yeah, same, same here. I just like sneezed on it. Same and here. Like, so okay, let's do Jordan's that. Jordan's getting it together. <laughs> yeah. He's, so yeah, send him his time zone. Check it out. Uh, Trumpeter, are you going to jump in Mortal Kombat? Is that your game? Mortal Kombat, yeah, it is my game. Uh, however, because of my coworkers who are going to play it, most of them own uh, bought it on the PS4, so I'm getting that one on the PS4. Oh, okay. oh okay, cool. nice. Cool. Okay. nice. Yeah. So, but if I catch it on sale, I... I wouldn't doubt it owning it on the Xbox One too, so I can challenge some of you guys here. Yeah, Jor- Jordan's going to be the guy that's all over that game. Although, if you just figure out one move that can beat him, you'll beat him every time. He gets mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're giving away his I'll weakness just use already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did I enter the Mortal Kombat tournament? Yeah, you said sign him up, right? Yeah, yeah. you. Like yeah. Two weeks ago. I'm in it. Yeah, and then Shebrew messaged me a while back uh, entering. I just so want to make sure. People, I'm going to be that guy yeah. doing that jab over and over and over. I'm a I'm a one guy. I'm a one button guy. I wonder. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And so. on that, let's get this show on the road. Jordan, what is happening in the world that is Xbox One this week? Well, let's start with the uh, TV. Oh, Xbox oh. One Sling TV. We all know it's out of the Xbox One. Uh, uh-huh. Most of us are probably trying the free trial right now. I uh, uh-huh. for uh, you have it for if you're an Xbox Live Gold member, you have Sling TV for one free month when you sign up for it. Um, but Sling TV is going to get HBO just in time for the Game of Thrones season premiere. Very nice. So not only uh, – so it, it's going to be a, uh, an add-on pack like it works because Sling TV is $20 well, a month with the $5 HBO Go on. is fourteen ninety nine a month. Yeah. So. so Sling TV is $15 or is $20 a month with an additional 15 for the HBO uh, extra, and you'll get the Game of Thrones and everything oh, just okay. in time. Cool. So. Am I the only one with – Trabador, do you have Sling TV? Have you tried that out yet on the Xbox One? I do have Sling TV, and uh, I, I I do enjoy it. Um, I added a five dollar add on channel for uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the True TV. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because uh, I enjoy watching those impractical Joker guys. They're <laughs> <pretty funny. laughs> they are funny. <laughs> yes. What are your? Do you? What? Uh, how has it worked? Have you noticed any lag or anything? Uh, no. As soon as uh, the only issue is when as soon as I started, I was trying to sign up the first time. Um, it kept on kicking me back out, but once I got past actually registering my credit card, it works like a charm. You know, I just start it up, uh, it starts streaming right away, and within at the first five seconds, it's pixelated, but it immediately adjusts to high definition according to your connection speed. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's. I I have not had a problem either. I found it really useful. What I like about it, uh, and I don't know if you've done this yet, Trumpdor, but on certain channels, I like that you can go back and watch what is it two days worth i think uh, of ch- of tv shows that's the one thing i haven't been able to figure out yet i'm trying to i don't know how to rewind it or, or how to go back uh, and do that yeah so on mine well granted it's certain uh, certain channels you can do yeah it's only rewind. on certain yeah. channels like the history channel i know for sure because i go back and i watch pawn stars and i can go back 
Uh, I just go down and I go back and and it's excellent. But you can't skip commercials. It's not a yeah, true you still DVR. Can, you you yeah. still have to watch. The Even whole when thing. you go back, like what till Monday, you yeah. can't skip it, which is kind of a bummer. But I'm sure you know they'll iron all that out because Sling TV is still relatively new. No, yeah, it's definitely know? the way of the future, and I'm loving it. I I really so, enjoy. Having I've been that. watching it's a lot of option. HGTV on it. <laughs> nice. That's my channel. Oh, very nice, my friend. No. Uh, HGTV. <laughs> you're you're a girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, HBO coming to Sling TV just in time for the new premiere of uh, Game of Thrones. Um, oh, and speaking of TV, Star Wars, for the first time ever, we probably all saw it this week, for the first time ever, Star Wars uh, is coming to digital, HD, all six movies, uh, HD digital version, and Xbox One, and uh, I'm assuming the 360 as well, will be a distributor. distributor yeah, I saw that. Distributor. Yeah, yeah that distributor. is cool. Have you seen the ads for that? It so, looks yeah, good. it looks pretty it looks good. Really so good. I saw the ads this week when they released it, and uh, then Xbox came out and said that they're going to do it. Um, you can pre-order today, and uh, or no, it actually came out today. Yeah, yeah, it came out the tenth. Yeah, sorry. So you could have pre-ordered earlier, and it came out today. So. Yeah. Uh, but if you get it on the Xbox One, uh, you get uh, an exclusive Star Wars pinball map and uh, Avatar Companion, an R two D two Avatar Companion. Oh, so that'd I be pretty sweet. Oh, that's that. cool. That's cool. That's really cool. So and that's mm. just exclusive to the Xbox One. If you've ordered it uh, somewhere else, then I'm sure they have their own things. But pretty cool if you want uh, all six Star Wars movies at digital HD. So nice. Uh, more TV. Xbox One digital TV tuner is coming to the U S. and Canada. I got excited for this. You weren't too excited because you thought it was too expensive, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's fifty nine ninety nine. Oh uh, like, yeah, that's, that's all with Sling TV. I guess you kind of don't need it yeah, anymore. Yeah, twenty bucks I could get. Sleep, but I mean, you get your local channels, yeah. but I could get a twenty dollar antenna from the store and do the same thing. <clears throat> like yeah, I think you can go cheaper than that. Antennas are way cheaper. Yeah, I well, I think that their price point. If they got that down to twenty, I'm there. Yeah, so then be able to watch it through the Xbox. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to be fifty nine ninety nine, and it is coming to U.S. and Canada. So, and the rest of the world already, well, most of the rest of the world already has it, Europe, Australia, and all them. But, um, and the April system update for everybody came out this week. Okay. Um, you'll notice, Tell me about uh, it. You'll notice a couple new improvements, such as party chat. <laughs> Tell me about it. There's, no, I'm actually, I like yeah, the updates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there's Don't make fun of what I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there's been a uh, party chat update. Uh, we talked about this one uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, they, when you log into party chat, if it'll tell you if you have a problem, it'll tell you what your problem is. And I actually tested it out. I unplugged my thing or unplugged my microphone, and it tells you microphone unplugged. Please plug in. Blah blah blah. Right? It tells you the problem. Mm -hmm. It shows you how to fix it um, with your connect and stuff like that. So you won't have any issues there. And in addition to that, we did talk about they're having dedicated servers to the party chat. If your NAT type is strict and yeah. it detects you're having issues, it'll throw you into a dedicated server. That though which is, is not pretty cool. That's not on this update yet. I saw no, Major not yet, Nelson but that's coming that. too. That it was planned, but they don't quite have it figured out, so they're they're waiting. They're still preview testing yeah. it and stuff yeah. like that. So. so for now, we got the party chat improvements um, to where it tells you what your issue is, and you can fix it a lot better. And then we do have the dedicated server still coming. Which is pretty cool. Oh man, um, is that's, that thunder? That's thunder. That's that's the Texas yeah, thunder I, down there, man. I wasn't even expecting rain, and now apparently now we're having a flood. Oh <laughs> wow, <man. laughs> that's, that was wow, cool. You can see like, the flashing in your door window. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> Jordan starts talking about the preview, and God <laughs> speaks through lightning <laughs> and thunder. Man. It's uh, raid in there, you know. He's preparing <laughs> yeah, for exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah. prepping for Mortal Kombat. That's great. Yeah. So a lot of cool, excited new party chat. I think that's probably one of the biggest ones of this update party chat improvements and in uh the new party chat servers coming so or dedicated servers coming um game he game hub links are now added uh the new achievement notifications which i was excited for now when you get an achievement it'll pop up it'll tell you the name of the achievement it'll give you a brief description of the achievement mm. and then it'll go back down which is nice yeah, that is really it just cool. kind of gave you the name um also you'll notice you have the new what's on channel in uh, if you click over twice it's right next to your friends it's between friends and the store if uh, you go to it, it just kind of shows you what's on, right? It tell it tells you trending TV. Yeah. Um, it shows you uh, the top broadcaster for Xbox. Uh, it shows you a couple other Twitch things and streaming. It shows you the top YouTube videos for games. Uh, and from what I understand, it's kind of is I want to say it's adaptable. So if you start playing a lot of one game, it'll kind of throw those videos. In, really? You know what I mean? So I, it's I, dynamic. I, I feel kind of? yeah, dynamic is a better word. I feel like I heard that. Don't quote me on that, but I think they mentioned that in the uh, in the preview. It, like monitors. Your I would. Yeah. I actually like that because I don't like the random stuff that I don't care about. Yeah. If it if it starts to do if that, if it's that's... tailored to you. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. If that is if that is true, that's so, a, yeah. that's a rumor. Don't quote though, right? me on that, but I think I, I'll look it up later. I should have looked it up before, but I think they did say something about that. But um, it does have uh, it'll have you know broadcasting clips. To po- it'll have the popular YouTube videos, you know, trending TV and all that stuff. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that is uh, kind of the update that came uh, it out. takes a really long time to install. Uh, we know well, this if you're not because, on the instant uh, on <laughs> before the show, we had to install. So if you, yeah, if you don't have the instant on, David had to update his box, and it, that's why the show started half hour late. <laughs> yeah. So so make sure uh, make sure you have yeah. That. So yeah. just make sure you update it. That's uh, that's funny. Okay, keep going. So uh, more more on the TV side of the Xbox. This next one is uh, hits me close. I really like Ooh. this one. Ooh. Funimation. If you guys know what Funimation is, it's a I don't. I do. Can I say what it is? Yeah, it's yeah. an anime. Uh, soft, it's like software on your phone or computer. Where it's like Netflix for anime. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's basically, it's like Netflix oh, for wow. anime. You can subscribe to it for I think eight bucks a month. Uh, I'm a subscriber, and you basically you get all the English dubs, subtitles when they come out. You know, you get all the. And stuff it's really uh, don't they have English um, dubbed before anyone else too? Um, on, the, on the shows, on the shows that they owe or they specifically have contracts. I don't know exactly. So how there's it works, some but shows that it comes sooner. Yeah. So Which like I, like for well like for example let's take Attack on Titan one of the most popular animes right now um, on Netflix it's still in Japanese subtitles but I'm subscribed to Funimation I have the English dubs yeah that's so great I want to get into that show too but and I don't like reading when I watch TV anime Jordan favorite anime go uh, I, uh yeah, I don't know oh. that's that's too much looks spicy the last Avatar is that considered. The yeah, last that's, airbender. that's like uh, the hybrid. That's, that's the, last the, Avatar. Yeah. Oh, the last Amer- airbender, Avatar. Last Avatar. The last Avatar. The last Avatar. That's what I think. <laughs> that's American, American anime. I think that counts. Well, I, to be considered anime, okay, it okay. has to be from Japan. Well, but then, that's, that's, okay. I mean, they're all, then they're for traditionalists, what's that one called? Akira. Is oh, that okay. is that yeah, right? Yeah. The, from like 1987 or 88, okay. somewhere like that. Spirit I really like the uh, the bike scene at the very beginning. Cowboy Bebop. I'm actually I'm right now. If I had to choose right now, I'd probably say Fairy Tale because I'm on a huge Fairy Tale kick. That game's good. Or that game. Sorry. That nice. anime is good. The last, I, the I last have, Avatar. I have, uh, Tropador. You <laughs> and like, Sword Art Online. Tropador. <laughs> what about you? Do you watch any anime at all? Uh, when I was younger, I used to watch Dragon Ball, but in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> oh that's that's a awesome. Old Dragon Ball. That counts. Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, that counts. Mine would have to be. I'm not that. Pokemon, right? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. I'm Pokemon not that experienced. Was right before it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not that experienced in the world that is anime, so I'd have to say The Last Airbender as well. Yeah, that's It's The Last that, Avatar. Uh, excellent one. That's an excellent one. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of good ones. But coming back to why I, we were talking about this Funimation, if you're a subscriber or if you just want to check out it, they're, they are working on an Xbox One app. Cool. There's currently one on the 360, and they actually just released one for the PS4, so you can probably guess that the Xbox One is coming very soon. That's okay, awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's so, really which will cool. be fun. Then I will never, ever have to leave my living room because... Ever, it's, ever, yeah. ever. Well, yeah. So. I love those kind of apps. Can I be honest? I just, put, I just, I just got Plex Premium or yeah. whatever, and I love that on my Xbox. I love it. I love Plex Good stuff. Yeah. Anyways, keep going. Anyway, uh, getting into ga- or getting into you know more of the Xbox gaming side, uh, Phil Spencer uh, tweeted out this week. He was the uh, he was um, some people asked him some questions about the Xbox One UI, and he tweeted back, "Speeding up the UI or quote speeding up the UI is high on our list of improvements yeah, we want to I make." Saw end this. Quote, and I which really is pretty like cool, it yeah. because it it really isn't smooth. Sometimes it's pretty choppy. Well, there's times, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Because there's times when it does run smooth for me, uh-huh. but there's a lot of there is times when I know Mark has a lot of chugging problems sometimes. Wait, your, wait, what are we talking with about the, <laughs> with the UI? Oh yeah, it's yeah. Phil Spencer yeah. Uh, came out on Twitter this this yeah. year and or this week and said he they uh, focused on improving it. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Speeding up the improvement. Cool. UI. What? Wow. Oh, right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so, okay, keep going. All right. So. Um, uh, Mortal Kombat. Let's talk about Mortal Kombat. We have the final character list and announced characters for Mortal Kombat. Uh-huh. The characters are the following. <laughs> Tanya, <laughs> Tanya, Predator, Tremor, uh, Sonya, Liu Kang, Jason, uh, Jacqueline Briggs, Ta- Takisha, Takita, Kung, Kung Jin, Goro, he's the pre-order DLC. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, Millie, Ermac, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Cassie Cage, Devorah, Cordal Khan, or Kotal Khan, Farrah and Tor, Raiden, Kano, Reptile, Kenshi, Kung Lao, Kwa Chi, Jax, Katana, and Aaron Black, Shinnok, and Johnny Cage. Wow. Ah, 
I'll, cool. I'll just say it again. And I like Johnny Cage. With okay. we got rumored fighters. The rumored fighters still the same. Uh, Sindel Bo Bo Ray Chow. Bro Bo Ray Chow. <laughs> 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 Cabal, Crack, Smoke, Rain, Striker, who I hope makes it in there. Striker is an awesome character. Nightwolf, also a fun one. Fujin and Baraka. Baraka is also a fun one to play yeah. as well. So that is the confirmed character list. Those last it's ones official. were the rumored fighters, and we will uh, see that game on Tuesday. Oh, man. And Tuesday is the 14th oh. of April, so just so everybody knows. And you can go ahead and pre-order it and pre-download it on the Xbox right now. So, All right, so Happy Wars. Check this out. Happy Wars I don't accidentally... Kn- I don't know Happy Wars. Oh, Happy Wars is a, is a free-to-play. Uh, it was on the 360 and then got moved over to the PC <laughs> and okay. is coming to the Xbox One. But it accidentally got released on the Xbox One. <laughs> like early. So before yeah, they, before... Someone before, hit the button. <laughs> yeah. That red button that no one's play. to touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Export. <laughs> there was... Yeah. Um, some people were able... I wish I could have downloaded it real quick. That would have... Some people were able to download it real quick. and But basically... Uh, I'm talking about this because wait, so been... they turn it off. Yeah, it's not the, off. Yeah, that's, well, so people, some people can play it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's so but cool. there's a lot of issues with it because mm. it wasn't supposed to be released. That is um, so the Xbox funny. 360 version is actually not working right now. They're they're well, it has a big issue and they're working to fix it. It's a it. beta test. But uh, basically, the the developer um, says uh, it was an accidental release. Uh, we'll be seeing it in the near future. In the meantime, if you're still available to download the game in your region, they ask you not to do it just because. There's there's issues and they want to get them all worked out and then send it out. So, um, <laughs> if you're able, if you're lucky enough to get it right when it you know came PMH out early, in chat says he got it. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's cool. Yeah, just an accidental thing, but you know, someone probably got fired. <laughs> uh, well, maybe yeah. not. Fi- I hope he, somebody did get fired. Yeah, I, mean, I, but I mean, he helped out all of us. <laughs> he or she <laughs> helped know, us yeah. all out. <laughs> oh, which is pretty cool. All right, going into Rock Band Four. Uh, the CEO of Rock Band Four, Steve Janik. Organic was talking about uh, virtual reality. Uh, he was talking about uh, he thought it would be cool, uh, basically saying it'd be cool if Rock Band Four can have the virtual reality, maybe making you feel like you're on stage, something like that. Um, now that he didn't specifically say it's going to be in Rock Band Four, but he also didn't say it won't. So, huh. you know, just cool little food for thought. Okay. So today, Friday, April tenth, twenty fifteen, is the last day to download. Fast Forza Horizon Fast and Furious for free. If you don't, it's going to be ten dollars um, after tonight. Yeah. I so sure. I if you got haven't, that. yeah, if you haven't got it, make sure you get on your Xbox. Just download it real quick so you can get it for free rather than paying uh, ten dollars yeah. later. So. And it's only a four and a half hour game, so it's easy to beat. Yeah. Knock that off your checklist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is it on this? Uh, yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, Final Fantasy Type Zero HD has shipped a million copies. Whoa! Ooh, good yeah. job. Good for them. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD was uh, originally on the PSP only in Japan. They ported it up to the new consoles, released it in America. And this also came with the Final Fantasy 15 demo, which is probably a good chunk of that million copies because I really bought the game for the demo. But I got to play Final Fantasy Type-0, type and it's really fun, good story, good time. So make cool. sure you check that one out. All right, and one of my favorite announcements of the week, Farming Simulator Got a gameplay trailer oh, released. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. This comes out the Farming end Simulator's coming out uh, May no 19th. Way. And online multiplayer for the Xbox One. Oh, I wow. can't wow. farm together. I'm, I'm definitely getting that yeah. game. Come on over to my farm. I, know, yeah. I don't know why that appeals to me, you but need that does. potatoes. Yeah. Trumpador, what's your thoughts on, on Farming Simulator or simulator-like games like this? Farming Simulator? Yes. Uh, I think somebody should make an uh, immigration simulator. You know, it's all <laughs> farming <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny, dude. I don't know why I I this game Guys, appeals to me. I can any see simulator this now. game appeals the to X1 me. The X1 Bros Farm. Oh yeah, you can be in charge of the corn. The why, why the corn? I don't what know. What are you, you trying to you say? Look like man? A corn what are you trying to say? I got milk. Yeah, <laughs> milk. David can be the rancher. Wait, you can be like. Uh, I'll be the guy that just grounds up the wheat in my big truck. I think you just manage a farm. Yeah, I really don't know. I've never played this game at all, but it's coming. So you from... get livestock. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, okay. I'm there. I'll be the guy growing the steaks then. <laughs> <Yeah>. okay, okay. <laughs> the gameplay trailer is out. It looks good on the consoles. Um, it's coming out May 19th for the consoles. And Xbox One and PS4, in that matter, do get online multiplayer, which will be pretty cool to farm with your friends. <laughs> oh, man. Across the this internet. Is, uh, that is yeah. so cool. That, that, I guess, yeah. Cool is the, is the word. Huh? All right, you guys remember those oh, games, Bound by Flame or Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper? 
No. Uh, no? Okay. No, well, no, I remember no. those games. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the developer of those games, Spiders, announced a new game called Technomancer. Huh. Yeah. It looks cool. Anyway, they announced a new game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's All neat. right. Well, it's called Technomancer. It's set on Mars during something called the War of Water, and that's kind of all we get. And, they, of course, they release a couple screenshots. It looks cool. Um, there's like a big spider boss, and it, it it looks really cool. And it's set to launch across the new consoles and the PS, the PC in uh, 2016. Huh. So it looks it looks like a, I think it looks fun from the screenshot. Cool. Yeah, it but. looks really cool. Also, new announcements: Deus Ex: Mankind Divided announcement trailer is out. Okay. Oh, Check it out. Yes. I haven't seen that yet. It looks cool. Yeah, and if you're a fan of the old De- Deus Ex games, yeah. You'll be excited for that. I'm excited for this one. I only played. I didn't get to finish the original Deus Ex, but I had it on. The it's on my Steam back library, and I have it on Steam now as well. I have yeah. it on. I have it on Steam too. Yeah, it's one of the games I haven't touched yet. <laughs> yeah. the, it's on the back list, you know. I think I have, have like beat. several Deus Ex games. But Deus Ex: Mankind Divided announcement trailer is now out. Go check it out on YouTube or or wherever you can. The Witcher Three also had a new trailer hit, and this trailer is really cool. You remember those old. Uh, Rockstar trailers where they would kind of tell you what's going on in the game and give yeah. you features. Where it's, they talk about the yeah. horse? It, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In, in uh, Red Dead Redemption. In Red Dead so this trailer's, Redemption. this trailer's like that. They have a narrator saying this is what you can do in the world, you know, crafting system, all this. It's a really cool trailer. It's about a five-minute trailer, and it, it if you didn't want this game before, you'll probably want it after you watch this trailer. Yeah. It is really, really cool. That game comes out May 19th, and in my opinion, a must-buy. Yeah, that trailer. I was, Especially we if you watching, played the other Witchers. We were watching it before the show. It It does look cool. Really, really good. Really so cool. So Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Gold Edition is now available for the Xbox One. It includes the Exo Zombies and the four multiplayer maps. Um, so it's kind of the Game of the Year edition, if you will, right? Gold Edition, right? Yeah. Um, along with Call of Duty, the newest Call of Duty game was announced. Uh, it's Black Ops 3, officially announced. And they are going to do a world... Re- it was just a teaser trailer that came mm-hmm. out, but they're going to do a world reve- reveal on April 26th. This month, so... All right, I'll, uh, I'm excited for that. Yeah. I really am, even though I don't play as much as I used to. <laughs> um, if they if they get the formula right, the, the spawn, if they fix that, that's going to be a game I play for yeah. a long time. So. so Didn't you like the first Black Ops? I did, I yeah. li- and I like Black Ops 2. Yeah. So this one is uh, from Treyarch, uh, Black Ops 3, World Reveal, April 26th. Cool. So... If well, you're interested, check take it out. Take a gander. Yeah. See where they go with uh, it. Tower of Guns is now available for Xbox One. Go ahead and go download it at the game store. And Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin is now available for Xbox One. That came out this week on Tuesday, and it's pretty fun. Yeah, I uh, I really like that game. And in other news... <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> In other news, I just wanted to mention that the emails for Elder Scrolls Online are starting to roll out. I got my email this week. They're basically talking about the transfer. If you've bought an Elder Scrolls Online for the PC, you get a $20. You buy it for $20 on the, on the Xbox. Xbox One which or PS4, a, uh, which, is, not a bad, console, not a which bad is a pretty case. good deal. And um, it includes a character copy from the PC version to the console version. The character copies they haven't announced yet. They said that's going to come a little bit later, but they have started sending the emails out to buy the digital versions for $20. And you have to do it soon because I think they in the email they talk about it's only available for 30 days and then it's gone. I, so, am, I am super stoked. But uh, I'm getting that one, so for that. spend a quick 20 bucks. But. All right, well, that is our news. Uh, that's the what's happening in the world of Xbox One for this week. Saving the day. And your wallet. Uh, this is the portion of the show where we try and save you a ton of money. And we're going to today. Why? Because PMH gave me an insider news thing from Target. If oh. you buy Mortal Kombat from Target, you get $20 off the season pass. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's not bad. Huh? Not bad. Also, Newegg has Battlefield, Har- Battlefield Hardline for the Xbox One for $52.99. Uh, it also has Dead Rising 3 for $34.99. Best Buy has Rocksmith for $39.99. With the ad- comes with the adapter and everything for your guitar. That is an excellent deal. Um... And that's it. That's it. Oh, wait. There's a Skylanders one. Or not Skylanders. Infinity. Infinity. The starter pack, twenty four ninety nine with everything. That is a very good deal. So go check that out. I believe that's at Best Buy as well. Hold on. Let me check. I can check. I have it here. Yeah, it that. is Best Buy, yes. <laughs> okay. So. Good. I, so. I think I saw a deal today on Twitter 
I'll try and find it. But I think Amazon is giving away episode one of Game of Thrones. Hold on. What? I, I saw it. It's, it can't. It had like the four ninety nine crossed out, and it said free underneath it. I, I think it was Twitter I saw it on. No. I'm going to look it up. No. Yeah, I, th- I think that was... Uh, I'm trying to find it. Yeah. It would make anyway. sense since they released the HBO uh, Now app on, on the iTunes store. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. So it might be, so it might maybe be that. maybe it's anyway, all kind of a it's publicity the telltale thing, one. right? Yeah. So, anyway, I don't know. I I thought I'd, maybe I'm just stupid. Well, I'm an idiot if I didn't see it. So, <laughs> no. McSpicy, maybe. your research shows? Uh, it's <laughs> only <games>. showing <laughs> type it's only showing Xbox 360. So, Telltale? Yeah. Do you want me to just type Telltale? No, Game of Thrones Telltale. Okay, We fine. also had the spring sale this week on uh, and the Xbox UK Live. Definitely benefited the UK from that. had better deals than we had. Uh, our deals, I was not that impressed. Trabador, did you have a chance to check out any of those deals? Uh, which deals again? The spring sale, the uh, Xbox Live spring sale. Oh, yes, I did, actually. Um, they have a lot of uh, season passes. I, I yeah, almost it's... purchased Watch Dogs thinking it was a game, but uh, no, it was I know. Pass. I almost made the same mistake when I first got it because I was, I, was, I was looking it up to post it on Facebook. Uh, I was like, whoa, these are such good deals, but it was season passes. So if you want to get a season pass, head over to Xbox Live uh, store and, and pick up season pass for a deal. I don't believe McSpicy has found this hidden gem that Jordan is lying to us about. No, I, okay, I'm still gonna, looking. You can see my – I got gonna, my uh, tongue out on the side of my face. That I'm thinking yeah. hard. I'm going to so. see if I can – Anyways, that's the deals for this week. Check it out. I think the best deal uh, is probably the Disney Infinity Toy Starter Pack. Uh, check that out. I mean that normally runs you, what, $79? It's twenty nine yeah. ninety nine right now. So check that out. That's enough, the both of you. Ouch! Oh, <laughs> man. This is the segment of the <laughs> show where we talk about what we've been playing and – we are going to start first with our special guest, Trapador XP. What have you been up to this week? What have you been playing? What have you been enjoying or not enjoying, I guess, if you're trying out a game? Well, actually, um, you know, like any good gamer, you know, I, I am a multi-console owner, and, and I've been spending a lot of time on Xbox One with the uh, Battlefield Hardline and on the PS4 Bloodborne. Oh, Nice Bloodborne. How does Bloodborne compare? You have a Dark Souls two T shirt for for those of you listening to the show, not watching. How does it compare to Dark Souls? Um. Well, the thing about Dark Souls is that at every single uh, bonfire, you can replenish your health. Uh-huh. Whereas in Bloodborne, you're depending on on getting health vials from enemies that you kill, uh, but you're still limited on the amount of vials you can carry at any time. Uh, so if you haven't found any enemies and you reach a boss and you, you're down to five health uh, vials, uh, you're in trouble there. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Which, which one of those do you prefer? That's a, bo- that's a big question, by the way. That's yeah, a loaded I'd, question. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I know. <laughs> because, like, cause, it is I mean, loaded. <laughs> I, well, I know it's PlayStation's version. It's like the same. No, I mean, it, it's from software. It's, it's, de- it's the same reason Demon Souls. It's like the Demon, yeah, Demon, yeah. Souls, Demon Souls, Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. Mm-hmm. Dark Souls. Um, that's a that's a big question. So I'm trying to give him. I'm buying him time to think about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so careful how you answer. <laughs> um, uh, well, which one do I prefer? Um, to be honest, right now I I I am enjoying Bloodborne a lot, and I plan to beat it just like I did Dark Souls two on the 360. Mm-hmm. But I think because of the internet infrastructure of the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. I like more the uh, the way Dark Souls and its online infrastructure works. Yeah, I well, Bloodborne was having a lot of problems with linking up with with players or players jumping yeah. into each other's games. Is is Bloodborne the same way? Whereas in Dark Souls, you write down your soapstone. I mean, is it the same style of it's a similar, multiplayer? It's got know? something similar to it. However, what you do is instead you ring a bell, oh. and and the problem with that is if I ring the bell, you know, uh, near a stairwell, I may join your game. But I'll join the game exactly at the moment where I was in my game. Oh, so okay. I could appear in your level, but very far away from you. Oh. So I've had instances where other players eventually kick me out because we couldn't find each other. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so it doesn't bring yeah. you where, to each other. Yeah. Just to the Where world. the soapstone on, the, on Dark Souls 2, when you summon someone, you know they're going to appear right, right above there. their soapstone. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I wonder why they changed it like that. So, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. So how's the how would you compare the difficulties in these games? Is there like oh, uh, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Dark Souls too. There's they're equal in comparison in terms of of difficulty. You, you're gonna okay. die. 
you're gonna die. I, you're well, gonna die. Yes. Yeah. I was just you know because Dark Souls. I I like that difficulty factor, and I was just curious on if um, Bloodborne was a little bit more forgiving or harder, you know, or or anything like mm-hmm. that. Um, well, what one of my favorite parts in the Dark Souls series is by far the boss fights. Oh, yeah. How do the boss fights handle in Bloodborne? Without spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without spoilers, of course. Uh, well, uh, I, I do like that there's, uh, at the beginning of the game, you know, I don't know if uh, a certain web game website uh, there revealed what was supposedly the first boss, uh, but it's actually possible to bypass that boss entirely. You can actually uh, have your first boss experience with a totally different boss, so your first experience with a boss is could be very different than somebody else's. Huh. Oh, the cool. routes are so many that, that you can, uh, you know, your first playthrough is very different than, than the next person to you. Huh. Hmm. Cool! Wow. Yeah. You mentioned you'd play Battlefield Field Hardline, and I noticed on your YouTube channel you you posted this week your top five kills in Battlefield, which was very impressive, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. No, thank you. How are you liking how 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 are you liking Battlefield? Uh, what I like about Battlefield is what I hope to get more out of in in Rainbow Siege. I like the rescue mode. Oh, it's okay. a five versus five, one life, no respawn. You gotta rescue those hostages, and or if you're the criminal, you gotta kill the cops. Uh, it's it's a very intense mode, you know. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You, you mentioned Rainbow Siege. I cannot wait for that game. Yeah, game I was so good. I was watching. They released a lot of um, like alpha. Yeah, a lot of alpha codes. A lot of people. A lot on of Twitch alpha playing. codes, and I think they gave them to like some big boys yeah. on YouTube yeah. and and Twitch. And I was watching a lot of that. And it looks as though the game becomes very fun, which is with every game when you have friends yeah. to play with. Yeah. And it's not as fun when you don't. Well, I mean, what I understand. something like well, the way Rainbow Six Siege is set up, I it's, mean, you have very to coordinate. You yeah. have to communicate with each other. And if that if that's the case, this game looks amazing. Yeah. Like I was yeah. watching some people play, and I got I got the itch. I want to play. This so game. with rescue mode in Battlefield, is it that same? Trabador is communication a must? It's the first game, uh, multiplayer game that I played on the Xbox One where I remember those early days of the 360 where there was no party chat and everybody was talking uh, online. Oh, you know, okay. back before there was all that filthy talk that you hear nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. People are actually canceling out a party chat and the communication Going is there, the at chat. least in, in uh, rescue mode. Huh. And since it does have destructible environments, you know, you, you do have that, uh, that uh, planning where, hey, I'm going to blow up this wall and we're going to go through. It's very limited. I hope that that's way more expanded in, in uh, Siege. But uh, but that is there, you know. It, yeah, Siege looks like that because you... Blow through the doors. You, well, you can just you can punch the, the wall. Yeah. You can, like, literally just, you know, me- melee the he wall goes. and sp- and have make a little Peek hole out. that you can see through. And uh, and that's... There's a lot of destructibility in that game. That's well, cool. Trabador, speaking of destructibility, in we played the beta. Yeah. And it to me in the beta it didn't seem like there was too much destruction as, as much as like yeah, Battlefield as much as, Four for instance as, or even I mean because when I think of destruction I think all the way back to like Battlefield Bad Company Two I, I mean that thing you could blow everything up yeah and I, it, to me it feels like as we go on and on with Battlefields the destruction gets less and less do you yeah. guys feel I mean how is it in Hardline because I have not played the full version of Hardline just yet uh, well in Hardline there are I think what's more destructible is. Uh, you know, very isolated buildings or, or strategic buildings that mm-hmm. they've allowed to get destroyed. Uh, like, for example, when there's a hostage hiding, uh, if you throw a grenade in there, eventually the walls will be uh, destroyed around the hostage. And anybody that was hiding next to the hostage waiting for, you know, like a, what do you call those people? Camper, a camper hiding, mm-hmm. camping next to a hostage, eventually you'll be able to see them through the walls. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... I think the destru- destructibility is there, but uh, I agree with you. It's it's not as much as it was in in previous Battlefield uh, entries. Yeah, I've been feeling that way. Even uh, Battlefield Four, I will admit, had a lot of good destruction, and I know it's a huge, massive battlefield, of course. So I mean, you can't blow everything up, but it just feels like. Do you think there as are... we've been going on, it's just been getting less and less? You know what I mean? Uh, probably well, because it's been more focused. It, whereas uh, that maybe we're maybe we're it? used it's to not it. as impressive because that was the first time where trees were falling around well i mean i just remember bad company i even got an achievement for it i knocked down every single tree in the map one time in the golf course and i got an achievement (laughs) for it it was pretty you know what i mean like it was and you can just blow through walls and anywhere and walk through them yeah whereas this you can't yeah i can see that so yeah cool so battlefield bloodline or 
Bloodline. Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Battlefield Blood- Bloodline. <laughs> yeah. Battlefield Hardline. An Xbox One exclusive. <laughs> the next collaboration of Visceral and uh, From Software. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be so funny. Uh, and Bloodborne. Uh, anything else that you happen to play this week, Trapdoor? That I happen to play this week as um, I actually I got a beta code for Smite on the nice. Xbox One. Oh, nice! I'll and play with are, you. Buddy. Are you a big uh, MOBA MOBA guy or? I had no idea. I don't even know what MOBA stands for right now. <laughs> okay. Multiplayer <laughs> Massive online. Massive online battle arena. Battle Boom. arena. Uh, and think... that being said, you know I I, I already got to try it and uh, I think as a as a person who's never played a MOBA, that's a great entry point. Because I was able to understand what was happening, uh, well, not fast, but, you know, <laughs> what I consider a, a normal amount of time. For yeah, a, I agree. I think, that it, I think it is a good entry game because since you're in third person, you're not so worried about the, the rest meta, of the map. Yeah. The meta yeah. of it, right? Yeah. You're worried about yourself. Yeah. And so it introduced how can I get better instead of what's the overall strategy. Well, and then is. just having that game mode with the one lane, I think, is a little bit, you know, just to get yeah. basic, you know, yeah, I think it's true. joust mode or something like that, just yeah. with the one lane. And then, I mean, it has the two outer lanes, but the one lane is your, you your, get your main, power ups. Yeah, your main lane. Yeah. So, so you th- do you think that you will uh, be getting really into Smite when it comes out? or? I think so. Um, I... I... Believe it or not, I was I was ready with my wallet out. How can I buy this costume? You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that I mean, that's where those games get you. Yeah, that's where they make really. their money. Costumes, scared. I mean, I, I mean, Heroes of the Storm. I already bought. I already bought some stuff. No, I, I bought I a bought, lot of stuff. I bought some stuff just to get the little pony. <laughs> Yeah. Now, now when I run around the little <laughs> the stars, yeah, the yeah, the little pony. stars stream around me. Very nice. Yeah, that's why I bought something. It was something real cheap. Very nice, Mister McSpicy. What about you? What did you have the opportunity to play this week? I played a little bit of Dark Souls. Oh yes, a little <laughs> bit. Please explain, explain See what situation. a little bit means. See these bags under my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Jordan! Jordan pushes me to the limit, man. He's like, "Oh, I can stay up till four in the morning. Let's do this, Mark." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let me get my mug of water, you know." Your um, hot chocolate maker that you bought? I bought a hot chocolate maker. Oh, now I'm like, nice. <laughs> I love my hot cocoa <laughs> yeah. while I game. Um, no, and and uh, I I still I I beat this game on the PC, and I still can't get enough of this game. I even started another character because Jordan and uh, Jono, uh, another friend of ours, uh, they couldn't keep up with the the amount of time I was putting into it. <laughs> <laughs> so I now have two characters that are what like level seventy or something each. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I, I love that game, and uh, I love hard games. I don't think there's enough hard games. I don't like being babied through games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like how uh, Dark Souls Two throws you in and you know nothing about it. Yeah. And you don't know where to go. Um, and it had been so long since I played it uh, on the PC that a lot of things were new. And there are, are a lot of changes with uh, enemy spawn locations. Oh, really? And item locations, I think. Um, yeah, well, w- we noticed at, at one certain point there was a new enemy there. And we are like, he wasn't there before. Right at the beginning of the game. First first section. There, Even those white knights um, in Hyde Tower. Yeah, they weren't there before. Those are new. Um, the dragon in Hyde Tower. Changes the entire dynamic now, of the game. Now, what I wonder is, because we didn't get the DLC for the uh, PC. Well, we did. No, they, that's, I, that's I was watching videos, itself. people talking about is what it? the differences are. Oh, okay. and there are a lot of changes. Yeah. And it's five, I was wondering first maybe it's five if, player co-op. Yeah. Or on five? Xbox One, five player. We Whoa. didn't know the number. Because yeah. so. it was three on the PC, and then you told me. I saw that, four people yeah, playing at one point. Five. Five. Wow. That's impressive. That is and, really uh, impressive. Yeah, I was watching just some streams and late games. There's some serious late game stuff in this, really? J- Jordan. Co op. Cool. Co op late game boss fights. So New bosses? Uh, <laughs> or not just... sure. I didn't get to them yet. Okay. I didn't play the DLC, so I don't know. So maybe. Oh, I'm excited for the DLC. Uh, frame rates compared to the PC. I mean, you've got a top of the line PC comparison. How does it handle on the Xbox One? Um, well, I played, yeah. PC, I played it on ultra settings. Um, yeah, you did. Yeah. Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was maxed out, and um, my computer can handle it pretty good. It can it can take a lot of things easily. So, um, uh, it felt on the uh, on the Xbox One, it felt very smooth. That's one of the first things I noticed. Just starting the game, I noticed the the frame rates, huh. like how smooth the game felt. That's good. So um, I was even trying to push it. 
because uh, I saw a lot of um, benchmark tests saying that the Xbox One drops frames to um, down to 38 at the lowest, um, which is worse than the PlayStation 4. I think it was like a number 42 okay. um, uh-huh. on some intense scenes, you know, and, and trying to push it. I was trying to max this out, spinning the camera, jumping around, trying to get um, explosions much going. going on at once, yeah, uh-huh. I was trying to do that, and I didn't notice anything. Wow, so, that's good. That's really good. Um, but uh, that said, I, you know, whatever. I, I didn't have the actual frame rate data in front of me, yeah. seeing if it was skipping frames or anything. But just the eye test. Yeah, the eye test, and it felt smooth, and the game runs well, and I I can't get enough of this game. So it gets the McSpicy stamp of approval. Absolutely. Even if you've played um, Dark Souls, like Trabador is wearing the uh, Dark Souls 2 shirt, um, which is awesome. Representing. Yeah. Representing. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right from eBay, apparently. So. <laughs> the illegitimate Dark Souls uh, 2 shirt. <laughs> um, I would say that if you've played it before like me um, and hadn't, haven't played it in a while... This is, uh, it's almost, an, it felt like a new game. I had things, remem- you know, I remembered certain things, yeah. but because the enemies have changed and, and certain things of the game are a lot different, there's more enemies here, there's harder enemies here, it felt like a new game to me. Wow. But yeah. still, I had that nostalgia feeling from when I played it before, so. It's so. coming back. Trabador, are you you didn't get this one, did you? Did, did you get the updated version or um, not? Of Dark Souls? Yeah, yeah. Of Dark Souls 2. The new uh, one that just... I haven't. I'm waiting to beat uh, Bloodborne, uh, okay. but I will be getting it on the Xbox One. Okay. I didn't know if you were planning on getting it There's or not. There's our five-man team right yeah, there. five-man team. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. There you go. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Anything else you get to play this week? Um, that that absorbed that, a lot. Well, of I my... mean, stayed up till four in the morning. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! Me. Like it messed me up, man. Well, we, I... st- we stayed on after you farming too. I know you yeah. guys are hardcore, man. I was like, guys, I I gotta go to bed. Wow. And then. Our other friend, Jono, he stayed on even after I got off. (laughs) Then, when Jordan went to work at noon that day, he was on play. Yeah, I logged into Smart Glass, and he was still there. It's a good game. So if you you have not played this game yet um, and you want a challenge, it's it's a challenging game. It's it's very hard. I love memorization of bosses. So I have not yet played Dark Souls 2, 2. I played the first Dark Souls, loved it. What I loved about the original Dark Souls was... From software's way of making the world have feeling, like I yeah. loved the world of Dark Souls. It, it, does that carry over well? Absolutely. Dark Souls and and one of the things after and, and this is, I have not played uh, Bloodborne, so let's okay. let's let's be let's be clear about that. I am a huge nut for fantasy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. I really like the Van Helsing kind of dark, uh-huh, uh-huh. that dark, what is it, like 1860s yeah, kind of yeah. vibe. Almost like steampunk, gone fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really, goth kind of, that, that, that kind of vibe that, that's, that that game has going on. But there's just something about fantasy knights. with knights and, ma- and mages and sorcery and, and all that that I just, I, I will always prefer. Nerd splurge. That. Nerd splurge <laughs> over the Van Helsing, <laughs> even though I really want to play Bloodborne because it's the same. It's from software. Yeah. And See, I th- I think I'm the opposite. I like that Van Helsing Victorian, you know, werewolf. I just like that art style. But don't but get me wrong, I like the fantasy like, as well. Like in but Dark Souls too, I can re- the first time I was like, oh look, let's walk out on this big pillar, you know, to get that item, mm-hmm. and you turn around and you realize that pillar that you were walking on, this huge old ledge, is this huge sword going into the side of a castle, and you look around, and then there's these huge statues, like from Lord of the Rings, holding their swords up, and that Nothing's sword right. has just crashed into the side of a cliff, which was a castle, kind of, you know, oh, cool. and that's all over and the place. And then you die. And then you die because <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> because you didn't read that little note on the ground that says, watch out for ambush. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question, Max Spicy? Yeah. Uh, since you have the Dark Souls, what I wa- the reason why I haven't purchased it yet, uh, I wanted to know, can you transfer your character from the 360 to the 1? Um, I didn't have it on the 360. Um, but I know I couldn't get my uh, PC character because my PC character it didn't have s- cloud saves, and I uninstalled the game. Oh, so man. Jordan's going to look that up right now. That's a good question. I Probably not. I don't think you can. And the reason I don't think you can is because they didn't even have cloud saves for uh, the no, P- for Steam. 
And that's most games have that nowadays. So yeah. it says no, you can't transfer yeah. any game version. So, so, so. it's its own. In- in- so it's going to be a brand new, fresh game for you. Well, that's <laughs> good. That's good to hear. I'm super excited to get into that. It's it's hard, man, and and, and I will be there with you. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm excited. <laughs> it's going to be great. Jordan, how about you? What did you get to play this week? Uh, I played Dark Souls as well with with Mark, of course, and so I wanted to talk about the multiplayer. Okay, yeah, five absolutely. people. That's awesome because it used to be – it was only three on the PC. And, and we, for some boss fights, we had to summon that extra guy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, yeah, there's this – okay. So there's this there's a spider, Ugh. this queen spider. I think we're just stupid. I think, I we're, like, I, I think we're stupid. I think me and Jordan are stupid. There's a spider, and for those of you that have played Dark Souls, you know what queen spider I'm talking about. It has like two heads or something. We were working on that for a couple days, and it was I think a week. We just could not beat her, and we're like, you know what? Let's just let's just bring another guy in. Let's just and we know. were planning just to use that guy as like fodder. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, we, and we'd because we had our strategy and stuff. Right? So we've been talking. We've been we've been. He's been going to work. He's. Been, I've been thinking of ideas how to beat this. Here's how we're gonna do it. And, and we're like, out. we're like, you know what? Let's just let's just summon this sun the sun bro right here. He goes in and like one shots it. <laughs> I know. We're like, how did he knows what he's doing? Yeah. Well, so, he didn't one shot it, but he knew I'm how not gonna, to play yeah, it. Yeah, because I remember during that fight, I just kind of backed off and watched. <laughs> I didn't even fight half of it. Like it was, <laughs> and we're like, "Oh, that's how you do it." So, oh. so multiplayer because the first Dark Souls that was what plagued it was you could not connect with your friends at all. Well, it was just frustrating. I mean, oh. there was this whole thing. What I like about Dark Souls Two is it's still it's not complicated, but it's how do you how do I explain this? It's complicated in the way that the game. It's I don't know. So the game is hard and it. Do, it's complicated. So right? how, how you just but the multiplayer, I think it fits well with this style of game because what you have to do for multiplayer, you have to get a special ring that yeah. allows you to. Well, it, you just can't automatically launch. play with your friends. Yeah, you have to actually do something. Yeah, and, in the g- game and get this ring. It's called the I forget what the ring is called, but it has a bunch of different gods on it, and yeah. those gods were basically They're, represent a server, right? Yeah. So when you put down your white soapstone and you have the ring on, we use Zinder, God of Desire, for our server. Oh, of course, it's, of course we use that, that one. Yeah. Yes, of course. So And so <laughs> that means that we'll start seeing all the white soapstones from everybody in that Zinder server. And I like the way they do this. And I want to talk about it. It's, we have not had any problems with multiplayer. No, not at all. With the ex- I mean, we've had a few crashes, but that's just I've had that in single okay. player too. I've, I've had the, bi- the complaint. I guess it's a complaint, but I think it adds to the frustration of, of Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. when you're, Maybe they did it on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> I've had probably five crashes. I think um, I've only had one. I've had we were, well, yeah, I've only... amplify the amount of hours okay. I've put into it compared okay. to you. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, so it, the game is crashing, um, and I'm sure that'll be fixed in one of the patches, patches, patches yeah. coming up. But but uh, yeah, but, but it hasn't cr- crashed in hard places. Uh, I would be upset, except it saves my exact spot. Okay. So the the, yeah, the auto save feature is, is really good. Oh, okay, good. So, but like, uh, with multiplayer, we've we've had we've maybe because you write your soapstone, you put your soapstone down, and you have to wait. I think I've waited what two minutes at the most to wait for your guys' soapstones to appear and summon you in. But it's super smooth, quick. We have really haven't had any problems with multiplayer, have we? No. And we've been going back and forth and doing each of our games, too. And I love how Dark Souls rewards people for helping multiplayer. Yeah, with the token of fidelity and, to- all the, and, and the humanity. You get humanity. So you might you may be thinking, what are these? Like, token of fidelity. And humanity. What is <laughs> going on? Here. When you die, it punishes <laughs> you in this game. Yeah, you, and okay, you get pun- you, it's It's actually a pretty brutal punish yeah. because you lose life, but then you also can't summon people into your game. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you it basically removes multiplayer to progress yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But if you go into someone else's game and help them with the level, um, you get your humanity restored. If you oh, complete okay. the level. If you complete it. So if you okay. go the distance, beat the boss, then you get your humanity restored, which means now you can com- progress your own game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, which is... Which is cool. I mean, which is yeah, it's it's cool. So which makes it so because uh, they have these really rare items where you can do that without doing that, but they're rare. They're called human effigies. I, you know, this noob over here doesn't know yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You seem you seem sad now. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> um, but items are rare, so it's easier to help someone out before you 
go and and use those items. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, cool. so I yeah, really cool. like that. And we, they build in the multi. It's like the lore because you have to buy this really yeah. expensive ring at the beginning. It's just well thought out. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then just we've been. It was smooth with three players, and now that I know that there's five, that just makes me even more excited. You know, and that's why Trabador, I asked you earlier about Bloodborne's multiplayer because I really like the way Dark Souls <laughs> Two is doing it. And since Bloodborne is obviously newer and it's their newest game, I was just curious. If that's it's actually a, a big I mean? difference that uh, Max Feisty mentioned that now I remembered. Um, in Bloodborne, you require a uh, – it's called Insight, what the human effigy would be over here on, on, on Dark Souls. Yeah. In Bloodborne, it's called Insight. And the problem with the game right now is that you can't farm it. In oh. Dark Souls, if you wear that ring and, and have a lot of them, you can, I think, kill rats in, at a certain tunnel yeah. and, and farm uh, human effigies. But there's no way to do that in in Bloodborne unless you're killing a boss. Yeah. And you can't even get the co-op bell that you require unless you have ten insight. And it is possible to run out of insight, and then you have to kill your first boss without a co-op person, and that's really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but, well, in Dark Souls, in the in Dark Souls two, uh, well, technically you don't need to beat a boss. Um, at the beginning, like technically, no, you just gotta get, you just the go get the ring, yeah, get the but ring. you got to get the soapstone, which means you have to. Ah, oh, you you yeah. still you can still get away with it. Okay, yeah, you're exactly right, Travador. But anyway, and then I that also would, that would make it very hard. I, was, I played a lot of Dark Souls, and then I also played Sunset Overdrive. Oh yes, like I tell you, man, that, jumping back into that, Sunset, uh, that game is it's it's that hidden gem. I believe like the I campaign last week in that, is, if you were to play it leisurely, is 13 hours. Oh yes, I'm sure. From that one. <laughs> leisurely, does that mean with no pants on? No, leisurely, just, just you know, a take casual your time, play. explore. You're not really trying to burn through it. <laughs> well, oh, okay. You know? That yeah. game is because I play leisurely all the time. <laughs> okay. That that game is it's it's a lot of fun. And like I was t- I was telling David when I was talking to you, um, the missions are really varied for like an open world game. Like you're always doing something different. Yeah, it I'm, I'm really it's excited that, to jump back. And, into it, Sunset. and it, it's really fun because going from Dark Souls, a very you know dark and serious thing, Sunset is super bright and colorful. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's really not serious. It does yeah, not take yeah. itself seriously. It's just at all. it's fun to jump back into. The reason I got back into it because I the the new uh, DLC that's coming out, the robotics one, looked cool. Um, Mo- Moyle Rig was supposedly really cool, and I, I just want to go through and beat the whole game. And, cool. Anyway, but yeah, I played those two games. Awesome, awesome. Myself, I. Played Ori and Ori alone. Oh, good! All right. Uh, and I got sidetracked because an achievement popped up, and I pressed the button, and the achievements all went on the side. And I said, "Oh, look how close I am to all those!" <laughs> so I started achievement <laughs> hunting. <laughs> those ones, because you got to like hundred percent maps and hundred yeah, percent items. Yeah, so I had to go back down, and I'm I'm grabbing all of like the experience, for instance, right in in certain areas and stuff like that. But that once again, I just love. I love the game. But what I love, I also I've never really utilized the achievement when it snaps to the side, mm-hmm. uh, and so good. It it's really good, especially if you're wanting to like hundred percent something. Yeah, yeah. It, it it works out really well. Uh, then, so I have forty eight games in my Xbox One library. Wow! Library, congrats. Yes. You're almost uh, halfway. And, and if you can hand me that yeah. there. Oh, uh, I've been re- I've been looking in the yeah. throughout the entire so, show. So at, at work. So tell week. everybody about the website. Oh yeah, I, uh, there's this website called uh, howlongtobeat.com, uh, and at work I was really bored, <laughs> and I mean I had work to do, but I was like, man, okay, I'm I'm just gonna do this. I made an Excel spreadsheet for those that can see this. I tweeted it out. <laughs> I listed every game that I had. Then I went on to howlongtobeat.com, and and what it shows is it shows how long the average person takes to beat a game, how long it takes to 100% complete a game, multiplayer, co-op game, expansions, and then it shows that all like in leisure time if you're to go through it. So I wrote down all my games. I put all of the, the hours it takes to beat. Then I put them in order. I had it organized by hours. And I'm just going to go through, and I'm going to beat all these games. <laughs> That's right. And, and I, th- I have a flaw with that system, even though I respect you a lot for doing this. This is amazing. Yes. Your flaw. The flaw is from starting from the top down uh-huh. and beating the e- the, the quicker ones sooner. Quickest. You're going to leave out. You're gonna. In, there are going to be better games near the bottom. No, it's of the true. List. It's true. Well, and I'm not necessarily following this, but I'm gonna say oh, okay. okay. I thought because I thought you said you're just gonna start from the top. No, no. Well, I mean, down. those. I mean, I could sit in a weekend and beat five games right there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm gonna okay. take like Easy. let's say uh, Dragon Age. The average gamer beats Dragon Age main story in 71 hours. Oh, man. 
So I'm going to take 71, and I'm going to say I got two weeks to do it. Divide that by 14. <laughs> that's how many how many hours a night I have to play that, that game. That game is such an investment, man. Hold on, hold on. On top of and that's Dude, like you should see the 100% completion time on that. Can you not? I mean, look at oh, the amount man. of respect I have for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I played Ori, and then I worked on, <laughs> on my backlog. But this is going to be my backlog. Uh, hold me accountable. Ask me next week, what games did I beat this week? Every week I'm going to be beating games. I want that list to have more blue crossouts. Oh, it will. It will. Oh, and for sports <laughs> games like uh, Madden, FIFA, NH- NHL 15 went on EA Access this week. That was not in the news, Jordan. I am disappointed in you. NHL 15 EA Access this week. I'm going to be playing that game. That game is awesome. Hey, Jordan. I'm downloading that's tonight. That's yes. More of, that's more of a sale than a news. That's not a sale. It's free. You get to download <laughs> it. that free. That's you have EA Access. Wow. Wow. Jordan, I think you're doing a swell job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, that's my backlog. I know there's a lot of you out there that have backlogs. After I tweeted this out, people were sharing their how they get through their backlogs. Uh, but that's how I'm going to do mine. Super excited. That's what we got to play this week. And this music, of course, this sound, can only mean one thing. What does it mean, David? This is the portion of the show where we hypothesize, theorize, intellectualize, and verbalize <laughs> about games. <laughs> <laughs> verbalize, I like yeah, it. Yes, one, yeah. this is the section where we discuss, we discourse, we take your questions. If you'd like to submit a question, please do so on Facebook, Twitter, wherever we're at, you, you, wherever you want to Live, talk to wherever us, wherever you want to talk to us. Well, your, your choice. We're <laughs> your choice. We leave it up to you. User's choice. We're everywhere. <laughs> uh, first question comes from. Clark Hollingsworth, uh, and this one I really want to direct to uh, Mick Spicy because he is he loves this game as do I. I've played every single one since it came out. He wants to know: Do we think that they'll make a Civilization for the Xbox One? They did make a Civilization for the 360, Civilization Revolution. Uh, it was decent. It was pretty good. It's it wasn't. I didn't. I never played the 360. Yeah, it was. It? it was fun. It was yeah. good. I it, played the demo. It wasn't what Civilization. It wasn't as in depth. It's not as in depth. No. Um, do you think that they'll ever att- at least attempt to bring a Civilization to the Xbox I, One? I would say so. Uh, but did, would you say the 360 succeeded? Do you think yeah, it was popular? I think it did. I think it did. Because that would. De- I mean, let's be honest. Games are determined by sales. So yeah, if, yeah. if it flopped, then no. But. Um, yeah, I think that's a game, a turn-based game like that. That's not required. That APM isn't required. You know, yeah. I th- I think that's mm-hmm. very possible. I th- I would say, yeah, I think that I think it can be done. Um, I got what's the new one, the space one, Beyond Earth. Beyond Earth. I got that one. I still like Civilization Five better than than the new well, one. Well, you got to remember when Civilization Five came out, it it. Was so not has three the game. expansions behind it. Yeah, it know, wasn't it. the game that it is today. It didn't get the. You know what I mean. But so the, but like all those games take time. The the difference is the differences between the two is I knew what an inf- someone you know a rifleman was. Yeah, you. Don't I don't know, know what, what I. <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> spaces. Yeah, yeah for, uh, a, a, a person that fights whatever from space. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and that's the, my that's my problem, I guess. I don't. I get. I won't I, get I, into this. I think that's what, my total war problem with some total war, like uh, the Japanese one or Japanese one or the Chinese Shogun. Shogun yeah, um, I didn't know what those people were. I didn't know what countered what kind of a thing. But it, well, that that's easy though. Sword beats spear. Spear beats horse. Horse beats sword. But. If they don't call it sword, <laughs> if they call you it, just gotta they, look at it. They have little pictures. Yeah, of they have pictures yeah. of them carrying. Still, <laughs> I panic. <laughs> and then within those classes, there's better swords and swords that yeah. do different going, stuff. But. Going back, going back. If I, I would definitely. I'm a Civilization fan. I would absolutely buy it on the console if it comes out. It just has to be done well with controls. And yeah, I and think it can. That's where I think it's difficult. I, I th- you, because you don't think because Civilization they can? Revolution was completely different than the other Civilization games. Because of the controller aspect, I think, and, well, and the way they built it for the controller, and so they built a new game as a result. You know what I mean? Um, the I, and I just don't know because the way that game is. So yeah, you played the 360. It, how were the controls then? Was it? No, it was good, but like I said, it was built for the 360. That game doesn't exist anywhere else. Okay. And so it wasn't Civilization in its truest form. You know what I mean? It was more of a cartoony style. Yeah, it was very cartoony, yeah. very arcadey. Well, Civilization is really fun, and I think it would do good if they released it on the console. I just, but I just, the thing is, is that game is so 
keyboard and mouse. Intensive. Yeah, and that, that's how where, many how, menu systems are how, there. That's, you know yeah, what I mean? Hard. That's you really got to. Like, but you could it utilize smart one. glass. You could utilize the smart glass with. Yeah, that. but you won't. You, yeah, but you're you got to think your average user just has a controller. Yeah, right? you yeah. Know what I mean? Well, I mean, I guess you could use it. As but see, like an option. But think about how you access the menu system in Civilization. You press, you click over here, or you. you I mean, it's hard to find those. But like, if you press pause or back button, that's and true. then just yeah. highlight over, and then yeah, you find the info. True. It's the same. It's just it just has to be done well, with a you, controller. You gave in mind. me hope because my initial thought to this question was no. Nah, they. If, I, don't I mean, think they look can. at what they did with. Uh, like Diablo three, they made it work, in my opinion, with the controller. Well, even in some people's opinions, better than the PC. Yeah, yeah. So it's it just has to be done right. And if that's done right, even though there's a million things going on, I think it's possible. And I would I would uh, I would buy it for awesome. sure. Well, there we go. Thank you so much, Clark, for saying that question. And next question comes from Jeremy Van Rokel, which is a cool any name that has Van in it is mm-hmm. awesome. Like. Van Helsing? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and let's start with Trabador on this one. Um, Van Diesel? Van, Van, Van Diesel. Diesel. Oh, it's Van Diesel. <laughs> Man, I'm terrible today. Van Diesel. You know what? English is like a game of horseshoes with me. I'll just throw it out there. The last avatar. You know? uh, Jeremy writes, wants to know, what is your all-time favorite console? I already and know. I'm, I'll be quick. Okay, let's go with this first, ta- first. Then, tr- then we'll go to Trapador. Then Jordan. <sighs> SNES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Why? Uh, the limitations they had and the games they produced beat everything else. Yeah, that that. There's no. That's an excellent there's system. No way. the The game quality that those had that that system had with the limitations that they had. I have uh, the soundtrack on my phone right now to. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Hmm. And it's one of my go-to soundtracks. Hmm. Um, and that's with a system that was... I mean, that system was ahead of its time. It, it pushed the limit, and then it just made some outstanding, fun games that I can play till today that's and true. enjoy. That's true. Trapador, how about you? I would have to say the N64. Oh, nice. Um, Why? Good system. Um, you know, I, I grew up and... Uh, when I grew up in my house, there happened to be an Atari already, and the Atari controller had a joystick. Uh-huh. And when I finally got an N64, I was like, "Hey, this makes sense. Why don't we have this already? If the Atari had it, you know." Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, mind you, of course, the Atari didn't work exactly like the 64, but just the way Mario moved in 3D space and just 3D space in general, that was, uh, you know, you don't have those moments in today's. Uh, console so yeah true we're spoiled in that yeah, i remember the first time mario 64 i laid eyes on it and i was yeah, it was in blown 3D. away that's the one where you jumped into the pictures too right jumped into the pictures yeah, yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he goes on the tree and then goes upside <laughs> down and the controls on that you know you do the jump double jump kind of and then you could dive and all that stuff uh it just felt that was like i was when i first saw that and played that it was i was playing the future yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's interesting. Super Nintendo for you because timeless, yeah. really. 64 from Trapador, I think, was the first time we all went, wow. And then I remember thinking, uh, Ocarina of Time, how can anything look better than this? Yeah, on right? Ocarina. It was oh beautiful. Gosh. Then getting the Hyrule shield and you're just – you're zoomed in. You know, you're locked on and you're left and right. And it just – it changed my perception of gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yes. s- good call. Yeah, that that is excellent. You, you go first. I'm sorry. And I'm oh, so and by the way, can I mention I had blisters on my middle of my hand oh, because of like Mario this? Party <laughs> yeah. from when you're reeling in the, oh, yeah. the when you're fishing and all that. <laughs> I just remember on, the, on that on that 64, I used to play um, the first person shooters that started coming out, like Goldeneye. I would actually use the joystick to look around, where most people were using it to walk. Oh. I would walk with the C buttons. Oh. And look around with a joystick. You had to change that in the in the options, though. Uh-huh. Oh, almost oh, like cool. the first Southpaw. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's what happens. Yes, I'm that's the exact same way. I can't. I have to play Southpaw now, unless it's a Rockstar game. I have to play <laughs> Southpaw because of that. Because of Goldeneye. Because of what you just did. Because that's how I played it too. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Very I was nice. able to adjust it though. To, oh, see. Uh, us regular people. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> you're able to, okay, you're better than me. Is He's that acc- what you want me to say? <laughs> He's acclimated. <laughs> yeah. T- to normal normalcy. <laughs> uh, my favorite console, uh, it, those two are just so good. I don't know how you beat it, but I 
I'm ready for this, and it's kind of an underrated console because it wasn't around very long. But I the know Dreamcast. What you're about, yeah. I loved the Dreamcast. I, it was it was ahead of its time. It was the first time I played online was on the Dreamcast, and you got a disc that came with it, and it was AT and T. Just put this in your system, <laughs> and you plug up your phone line to it. <laughs> but it was the first time you could play online with it. Uh, it's, Really good, really ahead of its time. Uh, just mismanaged in all reality. Well, I mean, uh, it, it came out. It came out right the before the PlayStation Two, right? and yeah. the PlayStation Two is a, di- it, it, it a yeah, it was a dominant, console. dominant, yeah. dominant. Yeah, and it just it, it not. I don't think it was mistimed. I think it was mis advertised, mismarketed. Yeah, just. I remember playing a tennis game in it, like the memory card. Mimicked what you did. Oh on screen. yeah, so you could play on the memory and, yeah, card. They had like, the cool LED, not LED, but uh, screen. It's kind of like the, the first screen. game pad, if yeah, you the will, screen <laughs> on on the controller, and you could take it out, yeah. and you could get games where like you could build up characters, and you could fight you them burn games with them. Maybe we should have mentioned yeah. that. But couldn't you burn games? <laughs> you could burn games. <laughs> there was no DRM it. on there was it. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, it. Just <laughs> really fun. That was the last uh, Sonic game that I have played as well. Dreamcast uh, was on the Sega Dreamcast. That's funny. That's right. There was no DRM. RM so you could just burn it right on your <laughs> burn it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I never had one and I never did that. So Dude, it's we should we should bust it out. I got it in the front. <laughs> All my burn games. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jordan, last but not least, oh, favorite man. console. That's gonna be a hard one. The game gear. Just kidding. <laughs> oh no, I oh, remember oh, that. Lion King. I think, I I think it was a your Lion King. Yeah, I had that. Give so your fun. Lion King. Uh, Simba jumping uh, through the didn't trees. Didn't it take like eight batteries, like double oh, batteries? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so much. For for road trips you had to I had the pack. rechargeable handles. That went <laughs> to on make the, side. the brick even but bigger. But they were huge, man. <laughs> it was a monster. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna have to stay modern. I'm gonna go with the three sixty. Oh, okay. Because what nice. that did for online, I mean, cause let's think about that it. 360, that's where Xbox Live really took off. That's true. I mean, in, in uh, the Xbox, original Xbox, I had a lot of fun on that one, and Live was really cool back then. But, I mean, with, with Halo 3 and Gears of War, I mean, some of my favorite games, I mean, that I'm just going to have to go with that one. And then where they took Xbox Live with the 360... Yeah, it was just, it was just I I think I'm gonna go with 360. Just what it, what it did. Some of my favorite what games. What it did for console, what it did for online. console and online gaming. I just I'm gonna have to go with that one. That's a, I I respect that. So. I respect all your Stay answers. Stay a little modern, except David's. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> just, dude, dude, we're gonna play Dreamcast. Then. Okay. Taxi driver. <laughs> Crazy taxi. Crazy yeah. taxi. You taxi know what driver. I played on that? I played uh, a zombie game. It was the arcade one where you um, shoot through the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, well, and remember on PlayStation, the first PlayStation, Area 51? Remember yeah, how huge it was that game like, was? Yeah, it was like Area 51. And you remember you could get the pedal and you could stand on it and, would, and it would crouch for you? <laughs> oh, I love that game. <laughs> that game is so cool. Oh, good. Anyways, no, good thanks, Jeremy. Question. That was a great question. Thank you so much uh, for submitting that. Last but not least, uh, this question comes from Kenny Folkman. Uh, and I, I, I think it's a great question. He wants to know what our favorite... Uh, Xbox One indie games are, uh, but I want to branch that discussion into indie games on the Xbox One. How do you think that that's gone? I mean, I think at E3, PlayStation uh, really came out, especially the first and second one, and it was really PlayStation is the place for indie games, and that was the knock about the Xbox One. But the Xbox One has made gr- no, big yeah, strides. I, th- I think the ID at Xbox is a really good program for indie developers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I think that's still – isn't that still kind of in its infancy kind of a thing? No, absolutely. Yeah, but as far as the games that have been produced that have come out that are indie games, how do, how do we feel about those overall? I like them. I, I'm a huge fan. I think I'm in the minority of 1001 Spikes. Well, um, at this table you are. But, <laughs> but uh, other people <laughs> may. <laughs> well, when I go into the reviews on Xbox.com and I see the reviews on that game, people don't like hard games. <laughs> Apparently, they don't like uh, memorization of levels or something. I don't know. I absolutely love that. And then we played Couch Cast with that. Oh, that was fun. And you're like, okay, maybe it's fun. But then you're like, I hate this game. I'm never playing this ever again. <laughs> oh, man, I love this. Uh, no, like, game, I... What do you think the best indie game out there is right now? Oh, man, that's a hard question because I don't have all the data in I front have, of me. I have first, uh, my knee jerk is Ori, but Ori is Microsoft Studios. That's but not it's, that, well. Microsoft it's produced it, but it's developed by Moon, yeah, it's, Moon it's, Studios. And yeah, well, let's go with uh, one of the most popular indie games, IDARB. Yeah, there we go, IDARB. And just the way that game was created is is an awesome thing all on its own, right? But yeah, but IDARB, super fun game, right? I mean, yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a huge fan of independent games mainly because it's it gives artists a chance to 
make music that they want to make, make games that they want to make. Um, publishing games has become a lot easier than it was 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and having – I just – I really like especially the music that comes out of it from independent gaming. Um, I'm a big fan of of that. So well, I, I think, think of a game like iDarb. Um, think about if you were to present that idea – to a big studio, they would think that's stupid. Yeah. Because if you think about it, the idea is like, no way that's going to work. And, that's... and look at how well it has turned out. And that's where I think ID game or idea X, independent games thrive is that they take chances that big publishers won't necessarily take. Yeah. 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 And their overhead's a lot less, so they can. I don't know. I don't know if they, they can take chances that other people can. Well, I just can. think because it's a couple guys. Hey, let's do this. Yeah. And it's, I mean, a lot of games take still years and years and years. Tro- Trompador, what about you? Your thoughts on the independent game library on the X? You have a PlayStation 4 as well. So I, I like that we have you here for this discussion. Um, how, how, are, how does it compare to the PlayStation 4 uh, as far as its independent game library? Um, how does the, oh, well, I like, uh, I like all the other, in, all the new indie games that are now coming to the Xbox One. I think the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation systems in general have received, uh, way more indie games, uh, in the past. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, well, one of the benefits that I have is that I have the PS Plus and the Xbox uh, Live. So like this week, I think, uh, Tower Gun or Gun Tower. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just came out. It's fifteen dollars on the Xbox One, but I get it free this month on the, with a PS uh, Plus. Oh, thanks. Nice. Um, but uh, what I, uh, the indie game scene, I, I love it. I can't get enough of them. Uh, I recently bought and beat uh, Numa. Oh, oh, Breath yeah. of Life. Breath of Life, yeah. yeah. And like like you were saying earlier, you know, how do you pitch that to a, a company? Hey, I'm gonna make a game about this guy who's just gonna walk around. You're not gonna have <laughs> weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I. I don't know how that game got made, but I'm glad I got to play it, and I got, I'm glad I finished it. Uh, it's a it's a very good game. I really liked it. Um, some games though, like Ori, you you mentioned you were playing Ori earlier. I I've been loving that game, but I got to a point where for some reason the game will freeze and kick me out. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if that's a, a thing with uh, Ori or or the software. Or what that is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try system. again this weekend, but that that was happening last weekend, which is why I couldn't beat it. Uh, with, that's what I wanted to do. Another good indie, Guacamelee. Yeah, yes. is that that's, that's indie? That's yeah. indie. Yeah, that was a fun game. <sighs> Isn't your fun. LA Cops an indie game too? LA Cops, it's uh, if it's not indie, it's indie like. Yeah, which we the love. Escapist isn't the Escapist an indie game too? Yeah, it feels very, it feels very. Axiom Verge. Have you Terraria? played that one? Uh, Terraria. Have you played that one on the PlayStation? Travador? I've been you... wanting to. Uh, haven't had a chance to to play it. Uh, I had also the same uh, the same. Uh, issue that david brought up last time which is is it really an incentive if you know you may get Get it it in the future yeah yeah but but it it is in a way because i'm gonna go back and say you're playing it before any anyone else that's not buying it yeah i think i think the the issue right now or my answer to that is right now i'm so busy with work that i'm not going to buy it right away because i know i won't play it i don't have the time yeah but if it happens to be free later on hey great great you know i I get to play it with the other group of people who got it for free with me as well. Yeah. Uh, but no, I haven't played that. Yeah. And uh, the, although I, I do enjoy Volgar a lot on the Xbox One. It's oh, a very Viking, hard game. Volgar the Viking, yeah. The reason, yeah. I, the reason I bring that game up is because um, that's that was one guy that made the entire game. Did wow. the music, did the artwork, did uh, did the whole layout. Um, and and it was taking years, and Sony came and just said, you know what, finish this, and we'll, we'll put it on the PlayStation kind of thing. But that game is, if you guys haven't seen it, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like Metroid. Oh, okay. um, it's, it's a Metroid-esque game where you get items, and then you can go further places yeah, yeah. unlocking stuff. Um, but the fact that one guy can produce that... Um, and bring it to, to the mass audience. And, yeah, and, and he really wasn't... He really wasn't limited what uh, the boss would say. He could make the game he wanted, which I think allows for a lot more creativity yeah. than one otherwise. One of my favorites, Super Time Force. Super oh, Time yeah, Force, Super yeah. Time Force. Another mm-hmm. excellent one. Anyway, I, th- I think it's safe to say we could summarize this in closing that PlayStation 4 has been the place for indie games, but Xbox 
one I think is it's, catching it's, up. It's starting to make a it, and it's a good, starting to get an impressive yeah. library, really. And I'm glad. I think it. Yeah, I think it's Xbox. What's good about the Xbox One and what they're doing now is that, um, you know, it's a brand new indie game. I've seen it done several times. Brand new game, and it's for free right away, right out of the gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's... I think they did that with a uh, Wacamelee, even yeah, though did, that was yeah. a, like a remake of sorts, and they did that with Volgar. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, when I, it's I like released that. on the Xbox, Just that is get the it deal out with there, gold right? that much to, to, to get it out, have people experience it. That's a that's a really good point, Trumpador. Uh, I, th- I think that's an aggressive sales move too. I mean, really, to get people to say, "Hey, we have these games on our console." Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyways, those are great questions. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, participating, for sending those in. Info at x1bros.com is where you can email us, Facebook, us, uh, send us messages on Xbox Live if you want to get your question on the show. Uh, last but not least, this is, I mean, this is not a question necessarily but a suggestion, and I, I just wanted to, to let the community know that you can send us suggestions. We take them. And we uh, we Whoa, seriously them. consider them, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and we're, this, th- we're the independent podcast. We are yeah. we indie. Are. We are we're the indie, indie podcast, <laughs> exactly. Indie at X One Bros. <laughs> yes. Um, but Wayne had suggested uh, on Facebook today. He sent me a message and said, "Hey, you guys are this uh, community positive gaming. You've done a lot of good in gaming." Uh, how about if you, you know, here's a suggestion. Maybe you could promote a charity every month or something like that. And I just want to let Wayne know we are we're talking about stuff like that. We hadn't <laughs> yeah. thought of that. You know, we're talking about. So please feel free to send us uh, your suggestions. How we can improve. We're always trying to. So uh, yeah. w- with that, Trapador, uh what are you up to this week? Where can people find you? Where can they check out your YouTube channel? Uh, this is the pl- this is a self promotion plugging section. So <laughs> we want we want you to be successful, man. So yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, well, you can find me at Trobador XP. Uh, it's as it's uh, right there on the what do you call it chat. You can find me there on YouTube at Trobador XP on Twitch at Trobador XP. My uh, gamer tag is just Trobador without the underscore XP. Um, and on the PS4, if anybody out there has a PS4, it's Trobador underscore NM. Okay. Nice. Cool. Very nice. Any videos you're working on for your YouTube channel this upcoming uh, week? Yes, actually, I'm about to upload a video. It's pretty much done. I just need some final editings on the unboxing of the original Dark Souls 2 special edition for the 360. Oh, oh cool. Wow. I recorded that way before I even had a YouTube channel, <laughs> and I saved it. And I said, you know what? Uh, one day I'll use it. I'm sure it'll be relevant again. Cool. And wow, it was. that's cool. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's like a flashback in time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I I noticed on your on your YouTube channel you have loot crate unboxings. How do you like loot crate? I have I have seriously considered investing and subscribing to loot crate. I joined loot crate because of a Groupon, uh, so I got to join the first month for ten dollars, and oh, I nice. said, hey, let's try this ten dollars. I spend that on Starbucks in in one drive, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so for that uh, for that particular loot crate, it was my first one. It was a spy theme, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I I'm gonna leave it uh, for a few more months. See see what's up with that. I ended up, I think uh, from what I understand, every single loot crate box includes a T-shirt, and I think that's what's worth uh, the price of admission. Yeah, and what uh, is what is the monthly price on on loot crate? Uh, the the month to month it's twenty dollars a month. It's thirteen plus seven dollars for shipping and handling comes out to an even twenty. Oh, so if nice. you subscribe for longer periods, you get a discount of like two or three dollars yeah. for like three months, six months. Cool man, yeah. I just I saw that on there. I thought, oh, I wonder I wonder how he likes those. <laughs> Anyways, check out Trabador's YouTube channel. Uh, it's Trabador underscore XP. He's got some great videos. His latest one is my top five kills in Battlefield Hardline. I was watching them actually during the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, when like, when oh. I'm talking, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. Big Spice is talking. Oh, again. time to watch a video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go over there and check it out. Uh, and and once again, we just wanted to give a big thank you. Trabador is our biggest contributor uh, yeah. over at Patreon. Uh, he r- has really helped us to grow the show. We've used it for uh, advertising. We've used it for the prizes. Uh, if you've won a prize, you can you can. Thank Trabador. He's been a part of the community that has uh, donated. If you want to help out the show, if you want to help grow the community, please head over to x1bros.com forward slash support or just go to our Patreon page and pledge. Even a dollar helps out. Uh, and, and so big thank you, Trabador. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you very yeah, much. Thanks. 
Uh, and McSp- no, no, no thanks required. <laughs> Anyways, like I said at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Mr. McSpicy. Uh, you can find me at Mr. McSpicy on Twitter. And uh, my, my tag, Mr. McSpicy, is on Steam. It's on Xbox Live. Uh, I will be gaming up some. I think I'll do some Dark Souls. Mm. I think I'll do a little yeah, bit maybe more. Maybe a little that. bit. Maybe a little, yeah. you know. I, I, have, I have a lot of work to do, too, so maybe I'll dial it down. <laughs> now that it's the weekend, maybe I can get some work done. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Jordan, uh, how about yourself? Uh, I'm uh, at JordanTheManXOB, and then JordanTheManXOB, Ninten- uh, Xbox, and everywhere everywhere else. Um, and, yeah, this week I actually am going to do that right there. I'm going to make converted a you. list. Make a backlog? Of all my games. I'm probably not going to do the hours, but I'm just going to you know, highlight the ones I That's beat. That's awesome. You know I, mean? just I know. Make a list and hang it up right behind the TV. So every time I look at it, I know there's a game so, i got to beat. Yeah, he's talking about the list David yeah. made Oh, yeah, the, the list. Games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was looking at that the entire like first 50 minutes. Well, the entire. <laughs> the first 50 minutes of the show, I was like, oh, my gosh, i got to do that one. Well, for instance, there's games that I haven't started because I'm like, I just don't have time to jump into a new game. But, like, for instance, A Life is Strange. Life is strange. Twelve hours total. I'm like, oh, that's no time. I could beat that in a couple days. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So you're why gonna want to take your time with that one. Why am I not jumping down? <laughs> the story of the autobiography of Mr. McSpicy. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> if I were a teenage girl, I'd be that girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna make my own list, and then other than that, I'm gonna be uh, training. Mortal Kombat. Oh, oh yeah. You can pull out the headband, yeah, the wristbands. Yeah. Don't forget it's to contact really intense. Contact Jordan if you want to sign up uh, for the Mortal Kombat tournament and send your time zone slash country. And, and gamer, gamer tag. tag. So oh, gamer, gamer tag, tag course, time yeah. zone. And the best way to do it is through Xbox Live. So for you. Yeah, okay. for me, yeah. So, But, I mean, of course, I'll check Twitter and other stuff too. But best way is through Xbox Live. April 25th is that tournament. I am X1 Bros everywhere. I just opened up a Snapchat this this weekend. I believe Mr. McSpicy is on Snapchat. <laughs> I am. You added me as a friend. Yes, I did. So. So please, if you have Snapchat, join us. I'm loving it. It's I'm so funny. It. Yeah. Dude, Snapchat's I, hilarious. Oh, yeah. I wish I could say that because Dude. I sent some funny shit. I, 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 I like the stories. I've been posting stories, <laughs> for instance, that anyone can check out. Oh, so man. if you're on Snapchat, X1 Bros, go check it out. Uh, but I follow Arnold Schwarzenegger, and his... Oh. His stories are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they are hilarious. Just, you know, Snapchat's pretty cool. I'll just say that. Anyway, Snapchat, Instagram. How did you? How did you know I had Snapchat? Did you just search on, for me? On my phone, it says all my contacts. Who has it? So oh. it's linked to your phone. Yeah, so. I just I just discovered it recently. I'm having a good time. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Check out our YouTube channel. Go subscribe over there. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be working on my backlog, just FYI. And Mortal Kombat? Oh, and Ori will be done, and then something. And, yeah, I've just got to figure out my one move to beat Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. and we should, we should <laughs> mention, I should mention, the way we're going to do the Mortal Kombat tournament, it's one match, and that's it. If you lose yeah. your match, you lose, right? So well, one, round one match of three, is yeah, a three round. Yeah, one match contains three matches, so it's best three two rounds. Of, so it's basically, one match contains three rounds. Yeah, one match contains three rounds. But it's just going to well, be one match. You, if you win, you go on. If you lose, you go. To does it contain three rounds or does it contain two rounds? If you win both it, of the well, rounds. if it's best, uh, one best match contains three. best of three. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just so you know, it's going to be one <laughs> match, win or lose. <laughs> you know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, know. that is us. Have fun this week. We will see you guys later. All right. Yes. Ah. <laughs> just fill in time. Bye, bye ah. community. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>